knife rollers from Horsch used to be available only for the company's Joker RT disc harrows. This has changed since the manufacturer introduced its first solo knife roller by the end of 2019, the Cultro TC. Built in two widths, 2.9 meters and 12.2 meters, and made up of tandem knife rollers, the two processors came under scrutiny by our traction editors in a field of rape and maize stubble. The rollers retain the traditional design of the crop processor, which sees the knives bolted to an enclosed rotor. The benefit of this is an enormous cutting pressure without the risk of knives deforming. Horsch says this way the knives are also less sensitive to damage by stones. Drawback is that in wet conditions and sticky soils, the rollers may cake up with mud, which works its way from the ends to the middle of the rotor. Yet the good news is that this doesn't keep them from giving the stubble an effective squeeze and cut. Another drawback is that the knives are not reversible. What's new about Cultro is the tandem design. The trailed Cultro 12TC has its rear and front rollers slightly offset, which ensures full width work in curved guidance and turns and when working across slopes. Each of the two rollers has an outer diameter of 300 mm and six knives which cut the stubble to nominally 15.7 cm chops. Each knife is fixed to the rotor with four bolts, a durable and lasting solution that suggests a really solid build. The drawback of this is that you have to loosen a lot of bolts when swapping knives. On the 12.2 meter wide version, it's as many as 240 on all four rotors. Each roller within the tandem is dampened by rubber elements, so it is able to follow the ground contours. The Cultro 12TC is controlled by a hydraulic system, whereas the knife pressure on the Cultro 3TC is controlled by the lower link position control and by adjusting the top link. Cultro 3TC is suitable for attachment in the front or rear linkage and, as an option, takes an up to 360 kilogram weight block. Mounted to the rear linkage, it can combine with rear-following straw harrow tines or a compactor. By comparison, the Cultro 12TC teams up with either three rows of rear-following straw harrow tines or a compactor. In addition, it has a leading bar with hydraulic control leveling tines. Unlike the knife rollers, the rear tines and also the leveling tines can work the soil in the tractor wheel marks and in dips, which visibly improves the result. The Cultro 12TC frame is split into two separate wings, each housing a tandem of two rollers. This means ground contour following across the direction of travel is actually restricted to 6.1 meters, that is, the working width of each wing. The Cultro 3TC processed a field of rape stubble that had received a shallow cultivation pass about two weeks before our field impression. We found that the machine chopped the dead rape stubble very effectively, those who want to incorporate residues may want to combine the Cultro with a disc harrow. The Cultro knife rollers improve the incorporation of residues by reducing the amount of long stubble which tends to resist incorporation and stay on the surface. The Cultro 12TC processed an uncultivated field of silage maize stubble and we found that the residues were given an extensive treatment although not all horns were squeezed or damaged below the first node. In our extremely dry conditions, the tines at front and rear raised a lot of dust that settled on the trash, which results in a faster decay. More field tests to follow soon, so stay tuned!